Let me tell you, welcome to Kigali, <laughs> even though I'm in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Right, with a theme, boosting intra-African trade and integration, what does AfriXim uh, Bank and the participants at this year's annual meeting hope to drive home? Well, uh, I'd like to focus here is how to improve intra-African trade currently around uh, uh, about three percent uh, globally, we're doing about fifteen percent. So we're we're well below the Asian um, uh, average, about fifty-two percent, sixty-seven percent for Europe, and about uh, twenty-four percent for America. So Africans are not trading significantly uh, among each other. About one hundred and seventy billion U.S. dollars is, is the deficit in, in Africa in terms of trade. So quite a huge gap to fill here. Now, what this development finance institution called Africa is based in Cairo. Uh, looks to achieve with this conference is to make sure that new deals are, are, are put together. Uh, I just uh, ran out of uh, the first press conference here where uh, the president of Africa, uh, Dr. Uh, Benedict Orama, says that uh, Nigeria's Dangote Group uh, with Africa will sign another one billion US dollar deal in two days' time. Uh, I think that will happen before we end this conference to help Dangote Group, which is a Pan African company. Cement and other uh, businesses across the African continent. Uh, the African is also raising uh, several billions of dollars from uh, Africans in diaspora. Uh, for example, uh, planning a depository receipt uh, to be listed on the Mauritius Stock Exchange. We were told a few minutes ago uh, that will happen next month in July. Uh, for Africans in diaspora, the target is about 20 billion US dollars uh, money from Africans in diaspora for them to bring this money home and help Africa improve trade among each other. But of course, as we heard earlier today, it's more about how Africa can move away from what the uh, African president, Mr. Rama, called the comfort zones of commodity prices, whether it is cocoa, gold, platinum, uh, diamond in Botswana, crude oil in Nigeria, cocoa in Ghana and Ivory Coast, and move to industrialization. So part of what Africa is pushing to delegates and businesses here, and I've seen a number of Nigerian uh, people here. Uh, I ran into the Minister of Mining, uh, Solid Minerals, uh, Dr. Fayemi, a few minutes ago. He's delivering a paper at a ministerial meeting about 2 o'clock in Gali time today. Uh, what's been delivered is how to move Africa into rapid industrialization from, be from being a beverage economy to an industrialized economy building new economic pack. But let me give you one good news here very quickly, was that the new report shows that Nigeria is second to South Africa, number two among the top five African countries whose inter-African trade has improved significantly over the last five years. That is one news we got at the first major conference or seminar this morning here. Right. Uh, South Africa is number one, Nigeria is number two, uh, okay. Namibia is number three, Botswana number four, and of course Rwanda, the host for this annual event at number five. All right, Chief thank Zipan. you very much. Thank you very much, um, Abosan. I just have to let you go now. Um, uh, time is up. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day.